Hi, this is Leah Burdick and this video is for Mac and Associates on how to use advanced search in LinkedIn, the free version, to find target clients and also some target job candidates and how you can go about contacting them. So let's get started. Search is up here in the upper right. We want to make sure that people is selected and let's click on the advanced tab. Now let's say you know that you want to try to make some connections with some of the bigger um, professional services firms. Uh, let's say real estate. You want to find people in human resources at real estate companies in the Chicago area to try to reach out to, make connections with, and start building that relationship to turn them into clients. So let's type in the keyword human resources. Location. I'm going to put a location that I know is in, in the loop within 50 miles. Here, um, for this, I'm going to pick real estate in the industries section. And, you know, if you had more specifics, you could click them. I'm just going to let leave these open, leave this information open, and just see who comes up, who I'm connected to. And you'll understand why, when you do stuff like this, it's important for you to really build your own network because the bigger your own network, the more people you're going to be connected to. Now, in my network, I'm connected to 286 people who are in human resources in Chicago. So if I just scroll here, interesting. I will. I used to work at Jones Lang LaSalle, so I'll probably have a few people there. Let's look at this woman from Equity Office. She's the HR director at Equity Office. You now have a name, and we have a shared connection. So let me click on and get a little bit more information about Kirsten. Okay, she hasn't fully fill, filled out her profile, but you can see how when you're trying to get a, into, you know, a, make an introduction to a new person um, where they went to school, maybe you have that in common. That could help you, uh, being an alumni of the same university. Um, normally, you might see where some of her, what some of her groups are. You can get a sense of who she is, what she likes to do. But here's something really interesting. So if you scroll down in the lower right, this section that says viewers of this profile also viewed, look at this. You're getting almost, you know, a list of a good chunk of people who are involved in equity office. Some other HR people that you can click through and see if you know. I'm c connected to Kirsten through someone named Lori Chavez. So let's say you have, um, this is where I call the sales irresistible offer, where you're not selling your providing a presentation or you want to discuss to her about how you have statistics around how outsourcing her HR you know saves during these times to go through all these resumes they're getting can cut down on their own pr productivity or something really juicy that would help Kirsten do her job so if I want I can get introduced through a connection so that it's not totally cold so what I would do is I would type in a note to Lori, Dear Lori, you know, we have a new program teaching HR directors how they can save money, you know, doing outsourcing their recruiting needs. Would you mind passing me along to Kirsten? And Lori will have to forward it. And again, this is the free version. And then you'll have a note here to Kirsten like what you would type to her directly in an email and you just send it off to Lori. Otherwise, something else you could do is you could try to add Kirsten to your network. Um, sometimes when you say, I don't know, they'll prompt you for an email address, which sometimes you can pull right from the person's profile. But here's where, you know, LinkedIn etiquette, a lot of people use just these person, the standard form note. Really, you sh it's much better if you write something that's a little bit more um, custom. It doesn't have to be a, a novel, and there's not even that many words you can, they, they don't allow you to put that many words, but just so it's not the standard form letter. And as I, we talked in, about in other videos, people who get 
um, invitations via LinkedIn, pay more attention to them. And sometimes they will just accept them because maybe they think they know you and they from somewhere and they've forgotten. But because they think there may be that connection, they don't perceive it to be spam the way a regular e email would be perceived. So, uh, and then send in mail. This is something that if you upgrade your account and pay a little more, you can contact people who are not um, one level away from you. Um, you can send her a note directly. Okay, so that is for someone at a company or in, in an industry you're targeting, say you're building up, you want to build up your client roster in, you know, real estate like this example financial services you can go through and get a list of names which I think is you know HR and, and titles which is so much better than trying to go at it cold let's say you now have a position open for a legal secretary and I've heard um, some recruiters say that um, they like to find people who are already employed um, as opposed to unemployed when searching for new candidates. So we've got legal secretary, postal code. Now let's say instead of clicking on industries down here, let's say you know you want somebody who's worked for a really big law firm in the past. So let's type in Baker and McKenzie and see what comes up. So I have pulled up 26 people some in my network, some not, who have legal secretary experience in some form or another at Baker and McKenzie. So here you can see if I don't have a name, that means they're not in my network, so they're not going to give me their name. But I can send the in-mail here, which is flickering, um, or find people who have referred them, which is another way to try to reach out to these people. But let's take a look at um, someone here. Here's Debbie McCoy. She's a legal secretary at Baker and McKenzie. So likewise, she has a nice summary, gives you a background, some of her specialties. And you can see, you know, she's got office manager, assistant, or office manager experience, other people. Okay, hello, here are some more legal secretaries. You can see how, you know, trying to find some people, this just is such a great tool. And this is the free version. If you have the paid version, there you can even do um, faster searches. But um, likewise, up here, the send in mail get introduced through a network, or you can just directly add her to your network. Let's see, click on this, something like, Hi Deb, I've got a great legal secretary position at an excellent law firm. Want to connect so I can find out if you know of somebody who might be interested? And then if she connects to you, you can send her the um, job description or, right away. You can't put a hyperlink in here, by the way. You couldn't put a career builder link in here. So you have to connect with her. But again, as a recruiter, great for you to build up your own network of potential candidates. And if you're going to get introduced through a connection, now you'll notice that she was um, three away from me. So I've got to pick somebody, and look, oh, Charlene's there, that who could introduce me to her. So um, perhaps she's already been a candidate of yours. But that's how that would work, and it's the same thing. So that's how you use um, advanced search. I just wanted to point out another thing. In companies, we did update the Mac and Associates description to highlight some of your unique offerings, your uh, Jumpstart and MacPack and with honors. So um, if you're se you know, selling the unique programs, you can direct people to this page as well. Obviously, you'll send them to the website, but they may look here since they're, if they're already in the application. Thank you very much.